Good evening, I'm Hannah Rucker. As thousands of University of Texas students prepare to return to the 40 acres in just a few weeks. School leaders have released a set of guidelines with scenarios that would cause the school to go into a shutdown at any given point of the school year. Typically an exciting time for incoming students is now a time for angst and uncertainty. As UT officials announced that a student dying from COVID-19 would be a primary decision trigger that could launch a campus closure. Here's a list of some of the potential indicators of the need to change the university operating level at any given time of the school year. Significant applicable actions by public officials, number of trends of COVID-19 related cases, number and trends of COVID-19 related hospital admissions, testing capacity, availability of personal protective equipment, availability of isolation facilities. And here's a look at the six phases from fully open to a complete shutdown. Level zero, campus open with zero restrictions. Level one, moderate density, limited number of classes. Classroom density remains below 100%. Level two, low density, campus buildings open, face masks required, social distancing, 40% classroom density. Level three, ultra low density, campus and buildings open, large number of classes conducted remotely. Level four, most classes online temporarily, housing offered with a focus on vulnerable populations. Level five, status at close of spring semester. Campus completely closed to all but most essential personnel. University of Texas officials say they plan to open at level three in the fall. Reporting in Austin tonight, Hannah Rucker, KVU News.